I risked my life to get that girl's dress for her wedding. Smart man. Local charter bus driver did his part to save a bride's big day after the bus went up in flames with the wedding party on board. The bus had already dropped off the groomsmen off at the uh, church in Presidio Park. It was carrying the bridesmaids to the wedding when the charter bus started catching on fire. 10 News reporter John Carroll live in Mission Hills tonight with the things the bus driver did to save the day. John. I take the wedding party left the beautiful church here in Presidio Park about 90 minutes ago. No doubt they're having a great time at the reception as we speak. But this is a day that none of them will probably ever forget. It went up very fast. Like I had no time to react. A 10 News employee had just gotten off the trolley at the Old Town Station when she saw a bus engulfed in flames. She started taking pictures. You can see here huge flames billowing from the charter bus. It was carrying these bridesmaids you see here in their aqua dresses. And they said that something was smoking in there, so I pulled over. I looked back and there's like smoke just billowing. So I got everybody out of the bus. Everybody was off the bus, but not everything. The bride's wedding dress was still in there, hanging in the back area. You couldn't see a thing, and I was choking, so I, I, I ran back there and I grabbed her dress for her. Look at this picture. You can see a member of the wedding party holding the dress. And the bride's reaction? She didn't even thank me. She didn't save you. No. Oh, thank you for saving the dress. No. Wow. Nothing. Satan said the bride was instead concerned if another bus was coming and whether she'd have to pay for the burned one. Later at the church, the wedding went off as planned. We asked the bridesmaids and the bride on their way out if they wanted to share their fiery experience with us, but it seemed to be a story that, at least for now, they want to keep to themselves. Now tonight, the cause of the fire is under investigation. The driver, Jeff Saden, says it didn't start in the engine. He thinks it was an electrical problem. Live in Mission Hills in beautiful Presidio Park, John Carroll, 10 News.